Hello, this is Ashley Kennedy with PremiumBeat.com, here to talk about how to efficiently link and unlink clips in Final Cut Pro. Now, editing in Final Cut Pro is often fairly reliant upon clicking and dragging your clips through the timeline to combine them with other clips. Therefore, it's very important that you're able to easily join and separate video and audio clips while editing. Now, usually by default, both parts of a clip, the video and audio, are linked together, so that when you click on a clip, both the video and the audio are selected at the same time. Now, if you want to break this link between the video and audio, say if you want to edit the video of one clip with the audio of another clip, you do so by unlinking. There's actually three ways to unlink clips, and I'd like to discuss each of these because each task certainly has a good, better, and best way of doing things. So here I have clips that are linked together, and let's say that I'd like to edit some music to go with this clip right here. I'd like to disassociate this audio from this video. The first way of doing that is to come up here to the linked selection toggle and just simply click on it. And as you see here, the keyboard shortcut for that is Shift L. So I'm going to press Shift L. You'll see that linked selection is now turned off. So that if I click away and then click back, my video and my audio is disassociated from one another. I have my video and I have a stereo audio pair right here. And now I can delete this and add my music in as necessary. Now this method is called global linking and unlinking. And the reason for that is that this was not the only clip that became unlinked. Every clip in the timeline is now unlinked as far as its video and audio are concerned. So I wouldn't actually recommend this method most of the time because most of the time, linking and unlinking is a very targeted activity. You don't necessarily want to affect every clip in the timeline. So I'm going to undo that, Command Z. And let's take a look at a couple of other methods of unlinking that make a little bit more sense for what we're doing. So I'm going to press Shift L again so that we can turn global linking back on. You'll notice the toggle in the upper right hand corner will light up green again. And this time we're going to affect just one clip. We're going to do a local unlinking. And let me just draw your attention to the fact that we have this underlined here under video and this underlined here under audio that indicates that it is linked. So I'm just going to select both the video and audio here and I'm going to unlink it by pressing Command L. You'll notice right away that the underline on the video goes away. So that when I click away and click back, I now have my video and my audio unlinked from one another, but every other clip in the timeline is still linked just like it always was. Okay, so targeted linking makes a little bit more sense for this situation where we want to delete our audio and add our music in, and then we can go about editing with the other clips that are linked just as we always did. All right, let's go ahead and actually undo that one as well so that I can show you the third method for unlinking. We're just going to link this back up, and you do this the same way by selecting the clips and pressing Command L. You'll notice that the underline comes back on under video, and then when we click on it, we're linked back up. The third method I wanna show you is actually my favorite. It's what I call on the fly linking and unlinking, and that's because it's all in one step. I simply option click on the item that I would like to unlink, and it's done all in one. I've both unlinked it, and I have it selected ready to go. Now, just to remind you, the previous method I showed you required that you selected it, unlinked it by pressing Command L, and then you have to click away, then click back on to make sure it's selected and ready to do what you need to do with it. But again, this last method is just one step, option click, and I'm ready to go. I can delete it, I can trim, whatever you want to do. I'm going to undo, Command Z. And I also want to emphasize that this is a great way to actually on the fly trim. Let's say that I would like this audio to start a few seconds after the video comes on. Well, when this is linked, which I'll link this back up, you can tell by the underlines. 
When this is linked, I can't trim separately. But all I have to do is option, drag, and I've both unlinked it and performed my trim. So I don't have to go about linking and unlinking, trimming, it's all done in one step. So that's why I like this third method, the on the fly linking and unlinking, because it's very targeted, I'm able to do it all in one step, and all the clips and the rest of the timeline remain unaffected. They're still all linked together. This is also the case for if you want to trim something out. Right now, you see that this is linked together. I'm not able to actually trim the audio separately. But if I option click on my audio, I'm able to take my audio separately. I temporarily unlinked it, but here all I do is click on it and I'm linked right away again. So it's very, very efficient. The last thing I want to show you is how to actually disassociate stereo pairs of audio. So right now we have this link together. I'm going to perform the second method by just simply unlinking this. And you see again here we have our video and our audio. But our channel one and channel two are linked together. If I needed to unlink this and disassociate my stereo pair from one another, I just simply select it and then I come to modify stereo pair whose keyboard shortcut is option L. So I'll just press option L and you can see the underline disappear from my stereo pair here. Now I can click on one or the other and do whatever I need to do. Delete it, trim it, whatever. Okay, and if I wanted to link the stereo pair back up, I just simply select it, option L. There's my underline again. And if I wanted to link it all the way back up with the video, I just select everything. Command L, and there we go. So as you can see, there are many reasons that you might want to unlink or link your clips. In most cases, if you know how to quickly associate or disassociate clips from one another, you'll be able to perform your task much more quickly than if you had to cobble together a less efficient approach, as many editors unfortunately do. Now I hope you found this demo interesting. Remember, there are many more exciting video tutorials coming soon, so be sure to check back regularly for other screencasts for in-depth editing techniques in both Avid and Final Cut Pro. This is Ashley Kennedy with PremiumBeat.com.